But as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct. Since it is written, you shall be holy, for I am holy. You are a dwelling for God and a temple for the Holy Spirit. You, my brother, are not only the Son of God and a holy breath which proceeded from the mouth of God, but you are also the temple for God and God dwells in you. St. Paul says to us, Do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone defiles the temple of God, God will destroy him, for the temple of God is holy. Which temple are you? God's desire from the beginning is to dwell in you and to look at your heart and say, This is my resting place forever. Here I will dwell, for I have desired it. You will say to him, O Lord, you have the churches, temples and altars. You dwell in heaven, and the heaven of heavens is your throne. He will say to you, I prefer to live in your heart rather than any of these. My son, give me your heart. If you are then a house for God, and God dwells in you, and then remember the saying of the Bible, Holiness adorns your house. Know that by sin you defile the house of God which is in you. Jesus Christ searches for a place to live in, and that place is you. When the Lord said about himself that he has nowhere to lay his head. He did not just mean the materialistic house, but even more so the hearts of the people. He wants to live in your heart and for you to live in his heart, to be confirmed in you and you in him and for you to become a holy church for him. If you know this, my brethren, the, that you are a temple for the Holy Spirit, then do not sin in case you grieve the Spirit of God which is in you and extinguish its fervor. For if the devil comes to you one day with a sin, say to him, Go far away from me, I am not for you. I am the house of God, I am a dwelling for God, and I am a holy place for the Lord. I am the one whom God knocks on his door for me to open unto him. I am a temple for the Holy Spirit, I am a holy church. I am the one to whom the Father and the Son come to make a dwelling place. I am a dwelling for the Holy Trinity. Am I so insignificant that the devil can defile? No. I am a second heaven, a throne for God to reign on. I give praise to your holy nature, Lord, for you have made my nature a sanctuary for your hiddenness and a tabernacle for your mysteries, a place where you can dwell and a holy temple for your divinity. My Lord Jesus Christ, you are the Holy One and have called me to, to the life of holiness. Help me, Lord, to be a holy dwelling place for you. Thank you.